What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are looking at a 3D printer. This is the first 3D printer that I've done on this channel and I'm very grateful today to be unboxing this bamboo printer. So this bamboo printer prints carbon, so that's why it is a special 3D printer. So I'm very excited to look at this 3D printer today and I hope you guys are too. So stick around to the end to see the full unboxing experience. So I just want to thank .exe Security for allowing me to unbox this and supplying this 3D printer. The reason why we are using this 3D printer is so we can print parts if we are missing any security parts or if we need any extra bits and pieces around this office here, we will have it using this 3D printer. All right, let's get stuck in. So it comes in a pretty big box, but the box isn't actually that heavy. I was quite surprised actually by the weight of the actual box. Like I could actually lift this up. There you go. So it's got a generally like, it's not overly too heavy. So if you're by yourself and actually unboxing one of these, you won't struggle as much. All right, so let's have a look. So we've got a fair amount of padding, which is, yeah, let's see if I can do it. Oh, yes, let's go. Should have seen uh, Ross's face just then. He was a bit worried that that was going to break, but luckily it uh, didn't break. So that's basically it. So you get maybe the 3D printer, and then you'll get some of the rolls of like the materials they use for 3D printing to use on the top of the 3D printer. So you get some of the rolls, such as the white spool, for example. So these spools are for the top of the 3D printer. So you have PLA Basic as well. And an extra PLA Basic. So that's relatively everything you get inside the box. You get a 3D printer and a bunch of spools. And that's it. There's not really much extra to it. So we'll get straight to the 3D printer. All right, let's see this 3D printer for the first time. I'm very, very excited to check this out. All right. The moment you've probably all been waiting for. Wow, so cool. It's got a big bamboo logo on the side here. All right, let's check out this 3D printer. I'm pretty keen. We've got the instructional manual at the top to be able to understand what is going on here. At first glance, it's not actually that big. Like it's a pretty good size and it just looks great like on the side here what i noticed was it looked really clean so you got the bamboo lab logo right here which was pretty cool at the back here as well it's got a tube coming over to the top here and you've got your power supply for example as well at the front we've got the main compartment which you open up and get the 3d printed materials for example at the top you've actually got the power button so the tape is coming off pretty good from the sides. Like it's not actually marking the bamboo printer logo side at all. Cause it has a fair bit of tape. Just before I let you guys know if you're ever unboxing this, that tape does not stick on or leave any marking. At the top here, it actually comes open as well, which is where you put other compartments. And I believe either the spools, they go on top or in the machine. Now I wonder if they actually 3D printed this 3D printer. How cool would that be? 3D printing section. So that's what the top compartment looks like. It's a very nice material. Very cool. And it has this compartment here to be able to lift it up and down. Really nicely put together because I really like how, one, the materials are really good and just the simple design of stuff like this doorknob it's really well put together. And I can tell it's magnetic in a sense. Yeah, it's definitely magnetic. So it's a really nicely designed 3D printer. It also comes with these pretty cool stickers. All right, so this is what it looks like inside the 3D printer. So let's have a look. These are tightly put in here. Wow. So it does come with this Bamboo Lab box. So let's quickly have a look. So that's gonna come with a lot of your materials that you need, such as your power supply, such as the screen to actually attach to this part of this 3D printer as well. So it is touch screen. It does also supply the Allen key, which you most likely need to be able to put everything all together. All right. So basically you got two screws here, which you unlock 
via a Allen key and this will be able to come off pretty easily. So this is our main compartment for the bamboo 3D printer. How cool is that? Let's have a quick look at this. So also inside there is a door and an opening compartment. So there's also a few tubes that come out as well. This is our main 3D printing part right here, which will actually print most of the carbon materials or other materials for such. Again, like the last one, there are actual directions to show you where you are able to use Allen key to be able to take all this stuff out to be able to set up this 3D printer. So ease of use and being able to unbox this so that relatively came out quite easily. As you can see, once again, they've actually got it labeled where you use the Allen key to be able to take these parts out. So it's pretty easy. So once you've taken everything out, we're gonna start with this part, which is the main touch screen. So it's relatively quite easy to just put in. You've got this connection here. That just plugs in here and that's it. You've got these connections that just sort of slide in. So that's really it. So what you do is you get this top compartment you're going to plug it into here and you've got this connection over here which is relatively quite simple you've got this eight part connection there we go. so that just clips in really easily and then that's going to clip into the top part we're going to power up this 3d printer for the first time i'm very excited all right powering it on in three two one. Oh, something's happening there we go so you got this here powering up, which is pretty cool. And you've also got these buttons, so I'm wondering if you just power it up, but still the lights are turning on, so it's looking pretty good. We just do a setup. It seems really easy to set up. Let's have a look. In English, perfect. So we've got to do a bit of calibration. So the printer needs to calibrate for the current environment. Please ensure the heat bed is unlocked. All right, calibration might take several minutes. Let's start calibrating. All right, the calibration is complete. Very exciting stuff. And now we can start printing. And we have this really cool menu over here. So you got all this stuff like temperature, filament, utilities, print options. You've also got presets, which is absolutely fantastic. So you can print something straight off the bat, like a dinosaur if you really wanted to print a dinosaur or maybe like a phone stand, for example, that's fantastic. You can even get a micro SD card input, so you can put presets from your micro SD card into here as well. You've got your print cache as well. You've got your network settings, which is very useful. You've even got your messages as well. In terms of troubleshooting as well, if you get an error, you just click on the QR code and on your phone you can get the solutions already there for you. There you go. So it does it automatically. So you just push it in and that's all you have to do. Alright, let's close this up. Let's do the boat, why not? So you just select it. So we're printing this boat. It actually tells you the amount of time, so it's going to take 21 minutes to print this boat. We're about 17% already there, so it works pretty fast in terms of the 3D printer as well. Let's see how we go with this. Pretty excited for the result we're going to get the boat. So pretty excited. I really like the look of it. it looks pretty futuristic in terms of its design. It's just a well put together, affordable 3D printer. So it even tells you which stage you're at with the 3D printing as well. So right now we're on the auto bed leveling. The boat coming together, it's pretty cool. Wow. There we go. All right, it says complete. That's so exciting. All right, let's have a look. We printed a boat. How cool is that? There we go. How cool is that? There we go. Little 3D printed boat. So overall, it was generally quite easy to put together. You take out most of the stuff, all the instructions already there, relatively easy to put all the stuff in the back, take out the top, even opening the door, really easy. The menu is really easy to use as well. And overall, it's a solid build quality as well. The structure of it is really well put together. 
It is a rugged design, all the materials are really high quality. The spool that comes with it as well is very high quality too. And it's quite inexpensive to refill the spool as well. So overall, it's really fun and you can go crazy with it, design whatever 3D prints you like. So I do highly recommend it. I think it is great. And yeah, I think you'll have a lot of fun 3D printing with this bamboo printer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.